And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Echo Zillion. Going to com uh, combine these two champions together. They are awesome. If you can get them going, the all the predict stuff. I've been very impressed playing with and against Echo Zillion in the past. This specific list, again, was a viewer submitted uh, donation deck. And the viewer said that they got the list from Teal Red, another streamer. So... Thank you, Teal Red, for the this specific Echo Zillion list. So a couple of things a little different about it than some of the ones that we've played before is we are going to be combining the Sump Worker Iterative Improvement combo. I haven't put those in there before. Usually play a little bit more removal and things like that, but I could, you know, I could definitely see this doing work. What's really good with Kyrian Sump Worker is when you have leveled up Zillion. And that's what it's kind of all about, right? Like, can you get leveled up Zillion? But if you can get leveled up Zillion, then you can play a Kyrian Sump Worker. Even if you just have one Sump Worker, you can play a Sump Worker, and then the next round start, you'll create another Sump Worker in hand to be able to, um, you know, turn it into the posse. So that's that's pretty awesome com uh, like combo there. But the, the main thing that's different here is at the top end, we're going to have Augmented Experimenter, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. We talked about Augmented Experimenter the last time we played Echo Zillion uh, being in here. We got three the full three copies, so whenever things aren't going our way, discard our hand, draw three. That can draw us closer to all the um, created cards that we make that are amazing, You know, whether it's Echo creating these Chrono Breaks that are super powerful or the Time Bombs that Zillion's created or even the Hexite Crystals that Fallen Feline's creating. Right, We can get closer to all of those. And then plus Iterative Improvement, which is kind of in here for the Sump Worker, also pairs really, really well with Augmented Experimenter in the super late game. You can make more Augmented Experimenters and have more draw threes. So it'll be interesting to try out. We also have just a low curve, and we get the drop orders. Um, whenever we see them from the prediction, they get summoned from our deck, so that's basically like drawing a card from the deck, right? It's reducing the deck size to make it so we can find our Time Bombs and Hexite Crystals and Chrono Breaks faster. And uh, yeah, then we got the full, you know, Full three Feral Presidents, three Scrying Sands, lots and lots of Predict. All right, let's give it a try. We're going to head on over to Ranked. We're going to go play five games with Echo Zillion. Okay, Lissandra Trundle with Ionia. Usually Lissandra Trundle with Ionia is going to be better against larger units. Thankfully, we do not have larger units. That's gone, that's gone. I think we keep Echo. I could actually, you know what? I think we send Echo back too, actually. Because we're not going to want to play Echo until we level up Echo. And that's going to be a, a ways down the road. Um, but, so we'll just send it back. Okay, plenty of predict in hand. Yes, yeah, Zillion. I'm not playing the Feral Presence right away because we could find, like, the one mana cat. And that could put the Hexite Crystals in the deck. And then we have a better chance of finding those Hexite Crystals. Okay, let's go Perfectionist. Because Perfectionist, if we can select Time Bomb, we can get more copies of Time Bomb in the deck. Which would be awesome. Sure. Yes. Perfect. See you soon, friendos. All right, so we do have the ability to play Echo this next round. Do I want Echo to die to it? Maybe I don't. So, do I want? Sorry, do I want Echo to die to a copy of? Um, let's get let's get Zillion. Uh, a copy of Troll Chant. <clears throat> and I don't think I do want Echo to die to Troll Chant. I want to find those Chrono Breaks.
So now I have now I have Chrono Shift. Plans within plans. It's not safe. So they kill the Echo. Whoa! We get to Chrono Shift. Another zillion. So assume this zillion's dying. I assume they're gonna go like avalanche or whatever. Oh, I can't have Chrono Shift save Echo from that thing. Okay, so I will be the active player. You know, deja vu isn't what it used to be. So I think mine should happen first, which would then have Zillion level up before this happens. Time waits for no one. No one but me. Perfect. A chrono break. Back in the game. We are back in the game. They could, of course, deny chrono break. I mean, I, I cast the time trick because otherwise, like the time trick was just one mana right there. Yeah, I really hope they don't have deny. It's kind of a deny test. I'm gonna pass. I mean, the chrono. So I did have that zillion die. Or sorry, sorry, the echo. I did have that echo die. Oh, because then that happens first, then I don't get the created cards. Oh, I was thinking I was gonna be getting a bunch of created cards. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have passed. Yeah, because I, I wanted to wait because of deny. I felt like we could wait. I felt like we could wait. So now both of these are Sumpork's posses, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, so Zillion with that Sumpork's posse, pretty awesome. to um, 
I want to attack before the, the nine mana bounce card. And maybe challenging the ice pillar is bad. Maybe that's just exactly what they want. Yeah, I guess we're just going to Chrono Break and Rally. One more time. Whoa, no deny? Well. Okay, so they're going to just kill everything. But that's going to be perfect, because we have the other Chrono Break. Break should do it. There we go, GG's. And then, yeah, the next round we'd have Zillion make even more <laughs> Chrono Breaks. Alright, that looked good. The Sump Worker just gives you a, a tool to win the game, right? To end the game quickly, because. Definitely struggled with like actually winning the game, even like with having a bunch of advantage with the champions. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. I wouldn't say it's a wasted Chrono Break. Cause that Chrono Break got that that eight mana sweeper out of their hand, just traded with that card, and cleared up their side of the board. Okay, we got Zoe Lee Sin. So we lease him the great deck. We'll send you back, and we're gonna keep these. Okay, looking good. Good start. Yeah, augmented experimenter just gives you a little bit of interaction with that three damage, but then uh, it is possible to run out of cards. Like when we're playing cards like Feral Presence, Scrying Sands, um, we have a really low curve. You can definitely run out of cards with this deck. Um, we didn't necessarily that game, but there are going to be going to be a good amount of games where we just run out of cards, and so having um, having augmented experimenter is important. So I'm doing this because I want to find you know I want to find the hexite crystal or mystic shot, or like I want to find one of those. That was my hope. I just take time trick. I guess so. It's possible I should be waiting. If I'd wait, I could do like zillion, put time bombs, and then if this isn't anything good, then we do it again afterwards. Haven't I been here before? Of course, with twin disciplines being a card. Wow, they're just trading away Zoe. What are they doing? Still, even if you have another Zoe, just... That seems completely unnecessary. I'm very happy about that. You can see how we run out of cards super fast, though, with this deck, so Augmented Experimenter, good. Hey, what's up, Augmented Experimenter?
Of course, that two cost and cost reduction makes that card want to be played then. I guess they have every Zoe in the deck. It's not like the, like the Hexite Crystal is known information, right? We can't really hide it. Perfect. Could it create more time bombs? I think got it. I think maybe. Master yourself. Master your enemy. I should just attack with Zillion also. So how do we stop Lee Sin? Is question number one. Question number two, does anybody ever stop Lee Sin? We can always rely on you the answer to that's probably nobody ever stops Lee Sin. I don't think I don't think we can, but then again, I don't think anybody does, so. Just it's the thing about Lee Sin. If you have Lee Sin, all the spells, you just kinda win the game. That's just how it is. Gonna level up Zillion, so I don't really mind discarding my hand, especially what we have in hand. Right, having two experimenters, like one's always gonna discard the other. Like I'm, I'm most likely just playing experimenter this round. Oh, and then I discard a time bomb. Hmm, time bombs are actually good. I think we have to do this. Immerse yourself in the unknown. The dragon spirit awakens. Good hand, opponent. Triple Zoe and Lee Sin with all the spells. That's all you need. Just have champions and spells. Especially Lee Sin. <laughs> That's the card that... Uh, yeah. Don't really ever beat that card. I have, I have had a good record against Zoe Lee Sin recently, because that's kind of the game. It's That's what it always has been. If they draw Lee Sin, I lose. If they don't have Lee Sin, I win. And, and I've been doing a good job of playing against that, and they haven't had Lee Sin, but unfortunately this time they did. Silver Action. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in our regions that, that stomp that. Uh, no, we'll keep Echo. We should be able to level up Echo fairly quickly with this hand. Should be able to. Hello. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Just gonna take zero mana feral presence with having augmented experimenter in hand. Anybody surprised about that? Hey, Kay. Want to make me a few extra boards? Yes! I, I mean, sure, you know, whatever. I'll take, some, take extra zillions. I know what I'm worth. Yeah. We can 
undo what has been done. We can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. These are my streets. Four, five. If it ain't my favorite time traveling genius, punk buddy, well, I'd be weirded out if I wasn't. I do my own stunts. Doesn't really matter. Don't need any, any of those. Just gonna predict pass. See what they do. Doesn't matter. And I guess I'll put another echo there just in case. No, I am not I'm not very behind on donation decks, no. Um I only have like one more day for donation decks though before like we're about to have the new expansion come out, and so it's not really a great spot for donation decks until like the new you know, if you have like new expansion donation decks, because we just have meme tier Monday tomorrow and then Tuesday stream. And I was planning on having Tuesday stream be pretty light on decks, you know, mostly just like discussion about the new cards and stuff like that. Time Do like a wasting. a new champ tier list and things like that on Tuesday. But I could probably still get in one. I think I could get in one donation deck maybe before new expansion but if you have new expansion decks I'm I'm open uh, but then again I don't really need donation decks right away because we have all the champions to build Here's around your cut. that's all Spell shield is really nice. You got caught. Take a mystic shot. We actually killed a Sivir. First time ever in human history it's been done with a spell. A spell killed a Sivir. Should notify the press. It has never been done before. I don't think they'll be able to save both cards. Both action and Ruin Runner. They can. They have two shape stones. I'm hoping they can't. Perfect. That works out well. Okay. So, because now the time bomb will just destroy both of them. While I could Mystic Shot, I think I just save Mystic Shot, right? Well, I guess I guess there's not really reasons to save because I'm going to want to auto the Experimenter. Hmm. So do I want to save Zillion? I guess I could. Or do I want to not take four damage and be at eleven? I'm sorry to say, time is No, really we hold on. Illusion. Yeah, we just hold on. We can hold on to spell mana. Ooh. 
seven. Mm. I guess I have to wait around before playing Augmented Experimenter. Never had luck, never needed it. We can play everything. We love it when they run. Well, unfortunately, we have to play this one first. Assuming they're going to play like a spell to save action. No, okay. All right, well, that worked out really well. Now we got chrono breaks. That worked out quite well. Um, that's a visual bug. I think I just take iterative improvement. I do my own stunts. Watch out, man! I'm good. See what I've learned? I'll just set it all in. Why not? Send them all in. Take an iterative improvement, of course, to copy the augmented experimenter. Yeah, and they they're worried about chrono breaks, so they don't want to block anything. I mean the thing is. I can't really copy Augmented Experimenter without having these awesome Chrono Breaks in hand. I guess I could copy that thing. No! No, we lose a double ghost! Oh man, that is so unfortunate. I was just about to play the Sump Worker. We lose a double ghost. Man. Let's not do that again. That is really unfortunate. Ah, uh, ghost. Any appropriate place to post clips in Discord? Yeah, kind of where wherever you want. Um, there's not like a specific channel that's just clips, you know. So like wherever it goes, if it's like for you know rank decks or meme tier or just one in the general chat, like there's. Wherever you want. So that's what I needed to. I needed to, like the the big mistake that I made that game was I needed to cast the Mystic Shot on the four one to save the four life, because uh, we ended up discarding the Mystic Shot for nothing the next round because of like what happened. So I could have had four more life if you know that's all hindsight. I, I didn't. Yeah, that's all hindsight. But I could have been at eleven instead of seven. If I was, we would would have won. So hindsight. Definitely should have cast the missing shot to save four life. That round that I could have. Trindamir, Aurelian, Soul. They're gonna go very big. Very, very big. Yep, new season starts Wednesday. New expansion Wednesday. Also hope bounce patch changes Wednesday as well. I haven't seen it, anything about that, but I, I sure I really really hope so. Um, but yeah, we'll have all that in just a couple of just a few days. Yeah, so this should be Targon's peak deck.
Probably gotta slow him down right there. I mean, I'm just missing out on two damage to play this. Two extra damage in. All right, but they still get to the round earlier. Play Targon's Peak, which we know they're gonna have. There's not really any other option. Time bomb playing a time bomb. <laughs> and I guess I'm just going to empty the hands. We'll just replace these two with three other random cards. Immerse yourself in the unknown. Okay, zillion level. We gotta do five more damage to them. We got big time cost reductions here with the drop order fallen feline. <laughs> Just like they just like them, right? They have Aurelian Soul, I have Drop Border. Your favorite star. I created it. My plans! Yeah, it's the kind of thing that um, you know, when you have Targon's Peak, you got Targon's Peak. That's that deck, right? Like, if they don't draw Targon's Peak, they always lose. If they have Targon's Peak, they have a chance of winning. GG's. Okay, back to Sivir Zed. <laughs> Rose says these are the unluckiest games ever. It's kind of the story of. I mean, do we keep? Do we just try this out? Maybe, yeah, maybe we try this out. Kind of story of me playing Echo Zillion though, right? Like every time I play Echo Zillion, I lose, and every time I play against it, I lose. It's you know like one of those decks for me. That's all right. It's a cool deck though. I like all the predict stuff. Not mad at it. Just out of breath. Yeah, it takes it takes six mana to play Sump Worker copy it, play the new one. And I, of course, do not have... I didn't have 6 mana, I had 5 mana. I 
Okay, I have one video where we went 3-2 with Zillion Echo. Alright, there we go. So it's possible. All right, let's have two of these. Going with the Sumpworks Posse. Do not disappoint me. Come on, Sumpworks Posse. Why, hello there. Help me out, please. Okay. We still have six cards in hand, but that was a good round, right? Killing Zed, killing Young Witch. Shape what you want without mercy. We love it when they run. Hmm. Kind of play augmented experimenter and kill the four three. I'll just pass to see what happens in combat. Uh, dog wishes that should I craft should I craft Sivir? Well, I can tell you that Sivir is incredibly, incredibly good. Maybe the best champion in the game. So the answer is probably yes. But with that, I would say yes. But in a couple of days on Wednesday, so in three days from now, we're gonna have a new expansion come out and there's going to be lots of new champions and stuff. And there may be nerfs also. So there may be nerfs to, like, the Sivir package. We don't we don't know. There could be balance patch changes. So I would recommend to wait just till Wednesday. Just see what... Or tomorrow, Tuesday is whenever they'll announce, like, what's going to happen. So you wait till Tuesday to, to see what's announced. Okay, so I ended up with a, a, a good win there. So both of our wins, we had Kiri and Sumpworkers finishing it out. So it was a, a good card to help finish out the game. Um, so, you know, that part was pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, you know, just didn't have the best luck. I the, the third loss, you know, I did have the ability to Mystic Shot to save four life, and, and I didn't. And then I lost the double ghost. I didn't really consider, you know, like double ghost going and, and killing us from seven. So I guess I, I should have considered that. Um, you know, so that was too bad. So if, if I just cast that Mystic Shot, I think that we are pretty good at winning that game. We really had a good stranglehold on the game. And so it could have been a 3-2, you know, with that. But ran into some, some hot opponents, and that's going to happen sometimes. You know, you're still going to struggle with the top-end decks. I'm not sure about Augment. Like, Augment Experimenter was good. I don't know about 3, for, especially for how many cards you draw in this kind of deck. Because um, there's just a lot of times like where you just ha you just have to wait on it because you you're going to be wanting to do other stuff and everything like that. I could see playing like you know enough, like Gotcha was good. I could see playing like a second Gotcha and not all three augmented experimenters, right? Because like it's by the time you need an experimenter, you're probably going to be able to find it with this deck. I, I would think so with like all the predicts and everything, with everything being predict. So I could definitely see making that change right there, just playing two and two, but. 
well, it's still good. Just recommend drawing your resilience, get your resilience down right away, get those time bombs going, do that, and uh, you'll have some good success. All right, but that's going to be it here for Echo Zillion. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think about Echo Zillion and specifically this kind of list. Do you like three augmented experimenter? Maybe go two. Um, you know, let me know what you think of that. All right, but that's going to be it here for this deck. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.